The railroad system has developed an extensive response structure to address most any type of emergency, but there is a constant risk of derailment. Scott County emergency management teams believe all departments need hands-on training for derailment situations. Today they took part in a train derailment exercise. Anna Jackson has the story. In Scott County, we've got a lot of interstates and a lot of railroad miles, and it's very realistic that something could go off the rails, so to speak. Pre-planning and training are priorities for the Scott County and Georgetown emergency management teams, ensuring their crews are well prepared. On Wednesday, crews responded to reports of a loud boom. It wasn't until they arrived on scene that they realized it was all a drill. So we intentionally kept as many people in the dark about the exercise um, as we could and still maintain staffing and daily operational uh, capacity for all of our agencies um, while still getting an accurate portrayal of how it would unfold. If you go ahead and tell somebody up front that, hey, we're going to have a hazmat spill, they'll have the hazmat stuff ready, they'll be ready to go. But if it's spring it on them, then they have to scramble to figure out exactly what they need in order to make it happen. Crews from all departments had a role in the exercise, from assessing the damage and aiding the victims to figuring out what chemical was on the train. Uh, so we're going to have to do a uh, full hazmat response, uh, not knowing what chemical it is. Uh, they're going to suit up and uh, treat it like a real hazmat. Uh, right now, they're determining the isolation distance how, how far uh, the community has to be evacuated uh, before this becomes safe. So. Scott County experienced a train derailment in 2018. Officials leading today's exercise said they focused on the areas where they faced challenges during the real event. So the reason we do these exercises is to not just test our first responding agencies, to see how well they work together and to see if there's any overlap or lapse in things that we might need, especially on equipment. So it helps not only work together and determine if we are doing it correctly, but it helps as far as knowing what we need in the future. All departments said they were pleased with the response times and how quickly each unit handled the situation. In Scott County, Hannah Jackson, Fox 56 News.